Um, it's really awesome to have us all here and to celebrate all the tremendous, outstanding artistic efforts that it took in order to create this amazing mural. Um, this mural was the combination of a lot of efforts from Somerville High School's Art Club, National Art and Honor Society, and also Art Major one. Um, so this entire project from start to finish took one year and I was really uh, pleased to be first approached uh, by Debbie Stein in order to do this and it's always a pleasure for us um, especially to give opportunities to my students um, and the artists of Somerville High School, the young and coming artists, in order to uh, produce art that can show them how they can positively affect their community. Um, so this originally started off, I mean, from all the students that we have here today from our club where this was nothing but just a large series of stick figures up until today where we see this massive, amazingly well-painted and well-executed piece. And uh, I just want to thank everybody involved in it. I'd like to thank my um, supervisor, Dr. Lucy Prodzik. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the mayor, uh, Joseph Curitoni, uh, for being here today. And um, if you'd like to come and address everybody, we really appreciate you being here today. Well, good morning. First, I want to commend all the students, all our young artists, and tell you how one, how proud we are of you and how impressed I am, and I know everyone who's seen uh, these images behind me. Um, the expression, uh, the vibrancy of the, uh, of, of the images, uh, how, you, how you've posed some images of Somerville and some really thoughtful imagination of what Somerville could be. If we had some mountains behind us, maybe, and some skiing. But still, I, 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 I'm really caught by the color and the vibrancy and really the movement, even in a still painting. Um, I'm, <coughs> I'm passionate about art. I, I think art is really captures humanity, allows us to be more human um, as a society. But in some of it, we're really, we embrace the arts and creativity because it's part of our DNA. And if you young artists don't know, we're second per capita for artists in the community only to Manhattan in the entire country. So how do we give young, burgeoning, and inspiring artists like yourselves an opportunity to thrive? Um, but it's really important to express who we are and who we want to be and what we stand for. Uh, I want to thank you for this and uh, thank Mr. B, Lucy Project, the entire team at the high school. Um, this is really fascinating stuff. I think uh, I've seen this evolution somewhat in a previous presentation and seen a final product is really impressive uh, and you deserve all the credit. So thank you for sharing your work with us here. I know for the people who work in City Hall and those who visit, uh, they're going to be fascinated by the work that you've done and, and we're all really proud. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Just to explain what the entire concept of the mural was for everybody. So we were first approached um, by Debbie Stein and the Wellness Committee of City Hall in order to produce a mural that would um, encourage its employees to want to be active and want to go outside. And so when we thought of that, um, the first thing that came to our mind was that we want people to be active 365 days a year, not just when it's sunny out, because in New England, that's not the case all the time, or half of our entire year. So we start off all the way um, in summertime, and then it transitions into fall, and then winter, and back into spring. So it's sort of a loop when you sort of follow it linearly like that. Um, so in the summertime, we have active outdoors. In the fall time, we're doing more of sightseeing and we're going to places doing apple picking, pumpkin picking, hiking. Uh, when we move into the winter seasons, we're thinking about just simple things that anybody can do too. So um, just going outside with your family, um, maybe doing some ice skating all the way up into doing skiing, um, maybe just visiting some other places. And then back in the spring where we all like to come out of our hibernations and we can fly some kites, we can go to parks, um, we can do some bird watching, but just the entire focus of this artwork is just to get people inspired to want to go outside and live an active and healthy life. Um, and I think that I really want to congratulate once again all the students that worked on this. You guys have done tremendous, tremendous artwork, and I think that you all should be very proud of yourself. So thank you very much, everybody. Do you want to say a couple words? Sure. Hi, I'm Lucy Project. I'm the K-12 Art Supervisor. And uh, when Sean first told me about this project, we were really excited. 
and um, he figured out a really creative way for the students to be able to spend time doing this and um, also you know do all of the coursework that they do at the high school and Mr. Biagi has led some very very exciting classes over the past four years that you've been here and we're very happy to have them so thank you to you students because you guys really showed what talented people you are so congratulations Thank you.